I've had so much crap today. Like, like not like bad crap, but just like so much stuff that, you know, there was stuff that came up that I'm like, well, I need to do something about that. And then there was a bunch of other stuff where like, I'm like, well, I don't want to not finish the stuff I'd planned to do. So like, I've had a very long work day. And then Disney Plus had to drop a trailer for the Guardians holiday special. Okay, so... Let's see this thing. Watch me end up with like a five minute video because I end up with not much to say about it. But uh, let's take a look. And yes, before anybody asks, I'm aware James Gunn is now the head, well, the co-head of DC Studios and is going to be heading up the uh, DC films and TV uh, and animated projects uh, from the creative end going forward. I did a short on the Council of Geeks, the main channel. So I am aware. I kind of said my thoughts. I'm saying them again because I know... I know it's going to end up in the comments if I don't. But anyways, this special. What's so special about this special? Let's see what's special. Ooh, the jingle bells. I just saw on the calendar that right now on Earth, it's almost Christmas time. We don't have time for trivialities like Christmas. But Peter's so sad about Gamora being gone. So when is this? Maybe if we go to Earth for a really wonderful Christmas gift, it huh. would make him happy. Okay. Something special he will never forget. What about someone special? I mean, it's cheesy music, but it's kind of worth it. Unfortunately, I know what's We're happening. Twitter spoiled it. Kevin Bacon. We're looking for the legendary Kevin Bacon. I just said that, Drax. If your voice is small and mousy, I think maybe he didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming with us as a Christmas present. <laughs> That's still funny. Even knowing it was coming, that was still funny. I'm oh, Cosmo! Okay, you know what? You know what? Despite being the kind of person who gets resentful if I hear Christmas music before Thanksgiving to say nothing of before Halloween, that did smile. That did give me good feels. Now, obviously, a lot of that is just the general presentation, the use of the music, certain iconic imagery, the the way the music built. That's all marketing. That's all the trailer. How representative that is of the final product, we'll have to see. But if it is, because the Werewolf by Night trailer was pretty representative of the final product, if that is representative, yeah, I'm probably going to have a good time. I don't know if it'll become a holiday staple for me, but I'll probably have a good time watching it. I like that they brought Cosmo back. I did kind of ask the question out loud, when is this set timeline-wise? And the main reason I ask that is because of Gamora, because there's one of two things going on here. Um, oh, no. No, I'm an idiot. For a hot second, I was like, it, 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 can, it could be sent between Infinity War and Endgame, when like Gamora's dead and she's not back yet, and Cool's warning that, but he would they like they were all snapped. No, no, that's yeah, so it, this has to be okay. That's actually okay. So <laughs> he hasn't been able to build an emotional connection with new Gamora, which is good. Because it's not the same Gamora. You're not just going to be able to slot her in for the version of her that died. That, oh, that, oh. See, I've been wondering for a while with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, you know, coming out next year, I think, um, how they were going to tackle that. Because, like, the lazy thing to do would be to basically just either have them theoretically pick up where they left off and they're kind of where they were before the version of Gamora that died, died. Um, or to like just retread all of their romantic beats all over again. Because, oh, well, it worked last time, it'll work this time. Those are both super lazy, uninteresting options. But she's not around or she's not interested or she's rejected him in some way because 
He has expectations based off a, re- a relationship that she has never had. And that just kind of creates an irreconcilable schism. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Because, like, there are a lot of pitfalls in having uh, a version of Gamora around at this point. But that's, like, I have a decent amount of faith in James Gunn to not completely mess this up. Because, like, honestly, my main source for um, feeling pretty good about that is Peacemaker. Like, that was an, that character. And uh, that character, even with the premise that was given, a lot of ways that could have gone wrong. That could have gone real, real bad. It didn't. It was amazing. And um, I'm not going to say that the Guardians holiday special is going to be amazing. I don't think it will be. But I have a decent amount of faith in James Gunn to not stumble headfirst into the mistakes that kind of are laid out ahead of him when it comes to things like Gamora. I, I do hope that they're able to give some genuine pathos to whatever's going on with Quill because if he's just I miss Gamora and I'm mopey which is what's presented in the trailer I'm hoping that's oversimplified for the sake of marketing because if that's kind of all he has going on like look breakups hurt I get that but first of all recovering from the pain of a breakup isn't something that you can do with just you know your magical holiday moment Um, but additionally, not every breakup leaves you a hollow shell of yourself, despite how much Hollywood likes to depict that. So, like, I'm a little bit nervous about how Quill's going to be shown. Um, it probably doesn't help that, you know, his anger over this happening was part of why, part of why Thanos was able to snap everybody in the first place. I'm not saying that to, like, hold it against him. It was in character. I get it. But, like, (laughs) yeah, dude, like... Your your failure to be able to deal with loss has already caused major problems. Could you work on that a little bit? But I, I, w- I wouldn't be surprised if it actually kind of feeds into whatever they're going to do with him in Guardians 3 because, yeah, he does kind of need to learn to deal with it because he was left with permanent issues following the death of his mother. It would, to a certain degree, make, it, make sense for him to have a lot of lingering issues following the death of Gamora. Just... Be careful it's not a retread and not something we've already seen with him. But again, James Gunn's a smart writer. So we'll see what he does. What do you think of this trailer? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Patreon's what pays the bills around here. And even if you can't help me out there, like, share, and subscribe. Those help as well. Don't worry too much about it, though. No big pressure around here. We take a relaxed attitude so you can come on back next time you need a break. All right, time to thank my highest supporting patrons, Robin Moore, Ruben LaFulla, Tarak, the team that goes joint in the anime, Oliver B., Melinda Walters, Kimi Delki, Leota the Boy, Toy Loli, Becky Sparks, Renobulax, The Poodle, Zach, Bookworm, Tracy Scrabbit, Angry Casperl, Adam R.D.L. Taylor, Shayla Gourlay, Brendan LaRose, and T.T. Thank you for your support. If you want to hear me try and say your name while... This guy tries to chew on my earrings. Well, you can check out the Patreon for the support tiers that get you a shout out. Thanks so much. You don't pain in my butt.